Is that some relative of yours, Larry? Well, no it isn't. Uh, what I'm into now, I'm going to try to attempt a Northwest face mask. And in my life, there's no planning on this. I'm kind of designing as I go. And there'll be another piece behind it that goes around in a circle. And I've been on this oh, several hours. It looks like people from the Northwest. <laughs> Yeah, well, hopefully it will. Kind of looks like me. Yeah, it does. I'm it, from the Northwest. It does, doesn't have the beard. You know, you're from uh, Seattle. You want me to say it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Washington? <laughs> yeah, Seattle, Washington. Washington. Oh, there you just You said it both ways. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Well done, Larry. Thank you, yeah. Does this guy have a name? Uh, no, he doesn't have a name. Uh, right now, I see, I've, I've worked on the eyebrows a little bit, and I'm going to work on the eyes. And I'll put a design up here. Like say, I don't know what it, what it's going to look like. In a way, I do, but in a way, I don't. It looks great. So, uh, if you had a voice, what would it sound like? I don't know. I, I don't even think they can talk. And then what I'm going to do, maybe, 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 on the back. Yeah. And like I say, there'll be a, another big piece around there, about two foot. What'll be on I'm the back? Maybe put some kind of a carving on the back somewhere. And then if they ever take it off the wall, they'll go, look at this. There's a carving on the back. Great idea. Yeah, my, my theory is, I've said before, a picture frame or anything, the back should look just as good as the front. And uh, so sometimes I'll put a little carving, maybe just a little uh, design or mm -hmm. a little tree or something, mm -hmm. little leaf, whatever, on the back of it. Let's so, call this guy Chekotin. Shackleton? Yeah. Why is that? Because I, I have a friend, he's Indian, mm -hmm. and his name is Chekoten. First name or last? Well, his name is Paul Wagner, but his native name is oh, Chekoten. Native. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Good to meet you, Chekoten. Okay, Chekoten. So we'll see what progress is here as long as I keep, uh, keep at it. Very good. And I've been trying to stick with this project. It, it's lovely, Larry. I grew up with these masks. Yeah, it's so I'll great see to see it. you working on it. And, uh, of course, this is not carved by a real Northwest person, but uh, <clears throat> I'm going to see if I can uh, come close to some of their work. they got beautiful work. Have you ever been to the Northwest? No, I never have. Were you ever in that beautiful state? No. Of? Washington. <laughs> Washington. It sounds better as Washington. Are you making fun of the way I talk? Not at all. I have my own uh, English language. <laughs> I could teach the English language in my own language. Right, yeah, right. Would be different. Well, so, Chekotin is actually from Vancouver, B.C., from Canada. Oh, okay. So a lot of those masks were made by the Haida Indians way mm -hmm. up north in Canada. Yeah, you know quite a bit about it. See, I know sure. very little. Yeah. And there, there's a few families up there that... Uh, Handed down from generations to generations. And they do storytelling with their masks. Yeah, let's see. What was it? Tony Hunt? And I want to show you some family. stories, yeah, by Vi Hilbert. Mm -hmm. so, There's uh, quite a few people that have d done masks yeah. and totem poles. Mm -hmm. I've done a few little totem poles just practicing. But Where are they? Uh, let's see. One's in California. Mm -hmm. One is here in Colorado. Cool. That one was about nine foot tall. A guy bought that and put in his house. And let's see, where's that? I've got one at home. And I can't remember, someone's bought the old, a dentist uh, bought mm -hmm. the other one. It was about three foot tall. Right. Yeah, you know, they've all been about uh, two or three foot tall, except for that one right. that was nine foot. Will this mask be painted? Uh, not, uh, very little. I know I'm going for the. Uh, got a flaw in the wood here, you know. I'm gonna to have to come up with some designs to hide to hide this. Right. So what colors will you Stuff put on? Like that. I don't know. I think I put a black, a red, maybe a yellow, you know. Yeah, those colors. are traditional. Yeah. yeah, I like the bright colors. Yeah. I really do. So that's what's going on in my life today. So anyway, I'm gonna lay this down and we'll uh, start working on it. So Want a coffee, Dale? Sure. Your coffee. Okay. <laughs> the master puts the carving tool to wood. And as as we start, you notice I don't have the Northwest uh, traditional tools. Yeah. <clears throat> I wish I did, but uh, 
We can get you some. They're made by a guy named Greg Blomberg. His tools are called Kestrel. That's, Kestrel, yeah. I said, Brandon, you've heard of those? Uh, yeah, huh? Kestrel. Didn't he? Uh, I thought he might have uh, retired. Well, he wrote uh, a couple books. Yeah, he might Probably be retired, but he makes wonderful carving tools. Yeah, I used to get some uh, info in the mail mm -hmm. on this stuff, mm -hmm. and I saved uh, I saved it because it was interesting, even even his advertisements. But I, I thought he retired. Yes, yeah, so I don't know who, the, who you're talking about. Lives on Lopez Island in the San Juans. I think he spent a lifetime uh, researching this and uh, yeah, stuff. He, yeah, he would okay. get uh, classes and all that stuff. Yeah, but I think he still lives in Washington. In Washington? Yeah. Washington. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to learn how to pronounce that word. Yeah. It's just going to take me a while. I bet if I lived there, I would learn how to pronounce it. Well, lots of people in Washington say Washington. They do? They do. Oh. Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> How do you say Colorado? Colorado. Colorado. How do you say Oregon? Oregon. I got it down. California? California. I've been rehearsing on the way. <laughs>